it's good to see you again this year welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel happy new year so today we have an amazing math question to solve so we are asked to solve for the value of x in this particular equation first things first we need to see or notice that we can express it in base 2 right so we call that 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3 okay let's go ahead and replace this with this so we now have 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of x is equal to 30 okay now recall the a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n now i want you to note that we are going to prove that the answer we got is correct which is the most interesting aspect of this video so don't miss it for anything okay all right so we'll write 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 times x we give us 3x is equal to 30. now let's recall another law of exponent that says that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n plus n. Therefore, we can express this as 2 to the power of x plus 3x is equal to 13. So moving forward, we can write this as 2 to the power of 4x is equal to 13. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing this channel. Give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing. Thank you. So, since the power, our x is the power, we cannot solve this without introducing log to both sides of the equation. So, introducing log on both sides, log on both sides, we are going to have log 2 to the power of 4x equals log 13. All right. Now remember this law of log reading that says that log a to the power of b is the same as b multiplied by log a. That means we can bring down this power and use it to multiply log 2. Okay, and this is equal to log 13. All right, since you're looking for the value of x, let's divide both sides by log 2. So dividing both sides by log 2, we have 4x log 2 divided by log 2 is equal to log 30 divided by log 2 as well okay all right so moving forward we see that log 2 we divide itself here so for the left hand side we have 4x remaining so we have 4x is equal to log 30 divided by log 2. Now let's express 13 times of 2. Okay, 13 times of 2 is 15 multiplied by 2. We give us 13. Therefore, we are going to replace 30 with 15 multiplied by 2. So we have 4x equals log 15 multiplied by 2 divided by log 2. So moving forward, recall that log AB is equal to log A plus log B. Okay, so applying that, applying that, we will have that 4x is equal to log 15 plus log 2 everything divided by log 2 all right now 
let's continue we are close to the answer anyway but remember that the most interesting aspect of this video is the proof that the answer we got is correct so i would like you to watch to the end all right okay so moving forward we write 4x let's distribute the denominator is equal to log 15 over log 2 plus log 2 over log 2 all right so we have 4x is equal to log 15 divided by log 2 plus 1 because log 2 divided itself we have 1 so plus 1 now remember that we are going to prove that the answer we got is right without the use of calculator so we are going to simplify this as much as possible okay so simplifying further we can express 15 as 3 multiplied by 5 so we can write 4x is equal to log 3 multiplied by 5 divided by log 2 okay then plus 1 so moving forward <laughs> we have 4x is equal to expressing this as log 3 plus log 5 so we have log 3 plus log 5 divided by log 2 okay plus 1 now 4x is equal to let's distribute the denominator log 3 divided by log 2 log 5 divided by log 2 plus 1 moving forward um first recall that using change of base law of log reading we have that log a divided by log b is equal to log a log a base b okay so this is what we are going to apply here in order to ensure that we simplify this further okay so doing that we have 4x is equal to log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 plus 1 now dividing both sides by 4 in order to get our x we will have 4x divided by 4 is equal to log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 plus 1 everything divided by 4 now before we divide itself we are left with x okay we are almost there so we left with x x is equal to log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 plus 1 everything divided by 4 now it's time to prove that yes actually this is the value of x all right have you subscribed to our channel yet if not please do that all right tune in at your convenience there must be something new for you to watch by the grace of god okay now let's go ahead and see if this actually satisfies this equation so this equation is saying that 2 we simplify this as 2 to the power of x multiplied by 8 to the power of x equals 30 try to simplify this before it reduce our x so we have 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of 3x right equals 30 and we ended up with 2 to the power of 4x is equal to 30 so i'm going to prove the answer using this 2 to the power of x is equal to 30 okay so let's do that so now we have 2 to the power of 4x is equal to 30 all right and remember that our x is this so let's substitute we have 2 to the power of 4 brackets log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 plus 1 everything divided by 4 okay now is this actually equal to 
30. So this will multiply this, right? And if that happens, that means this will divide itself to give us 1. So we are now left with 2 to the power of log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 plus 1. That is what we are left with. Now, remember that a to the power of n plus n can be expressed further as a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. Okay? Therefore, we can express this as 2 to the power of log 3 base 2 plus, sorry, multiplied by 2 to the power of log 5 base 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 1. Now, let's remember that this should be equal to 30. So, this is equal to 30 and this is equal to 30. We are not yet sure. All right. Now, remember another law of log reading, another law of exponent that says, log reading, sorry, that says that a to the power of log a base b is log b base a is equal to b. Okay. Once this and this are equal or are the same, you have b. As your answer and if you look at what we have on the board you will notice that we have something like that therefore that means the whole of this should give us b which is three and this will give us five and this is what so now is this actually equal to 30 so three times five will give us 15 15 times 2 is 30 so we can see that the answer we got is correct. Thank you for watching and I want to see you in my next video.